eat olive oil and live longer? It's possible there's something to that. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Daily Value. I'm William Wallace, and today we're diving into one of the most celebrated components of the Mediterranean diet, that being olive oil. But this isn't just a conversation about its culinary uses. We're zeroing in on several recent cohort studies along with meta-analyses and systematic reviews that all point to very similar conclusions, albeit with their own nuances that the inclusion of olive oil in our diet may be promoting a lower risk of chronic conditions, including cancer, cardiovascular disease, and even all-cause mortality. From reducing cancer mortality to supporting cardiovascular, metabolic, and cognitive health, the science behind olive oil is rapidly evolving. In this episode, we'll look at the mechanisms behind these proposed effects, the latest clinical research that I just referenced, and actionable ways that you can integrate olive oil into your daily routine, if that is so desired. To begin, it's worth noting that there are different versions of olive oil. There is virgin olive oil, non-virgin, also known as refined, and extra virgin, which is considered the highest quality of the three. Virgin olive oil is extracted from olives using mechanical methods without heat or chemicals, preserving its natural nutrients and bioactive compounds. Non-virgin or refined olive oil undergoes chemical processing and heat to neutralize flavor and acidity, which strips away many of the beneficial phenolic compounds, reducing its overall nutritional value. Extra virgin olive oil is the highest quality virgin oil with the most antioxidants and a robust flavor profile. Now, the consumption of extra virgin olive oil has been tied numerous times to protection against cardiovascular disease risk, the development of different types of cancer, the development of type 2 diabetes, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. However, when it comes to the health-promoting properties, the olive oil polyphenols appear to be in the center of research interest. These include what are called sequiridoid derivatives that include alluropine, oleocanthal, and oleoacin, and these simple phenols, hydroxytyrosol and tyrosol. Now, it's worth noting that alluropine is more abundant in the leaf of the olive plant. It's water-soluble, so it's not really extracted into and found in the oil. Actually, most of it turns into hydroxytyrosol through hydrolysis. It is hydroxytyrosol that is considered the major active component of olive oil. It's the hydroxytyrosol content that has been shown to be very effective in preventing lipid peroxidation and preventing low-density lipoproteins from oxidizing. In other words, it's highly effective at preventing certain fats from breaking down, which is a key step in the development of heart disease. There is actually enough evidence for the cardioprotective effects of hydroxytyrosol that the European Food Safety Authority, also called EFSA, have published a health claim about the role of olive oil polyphenols in protecting LDL from oxidation. The health claim states that a daily intake of 20 grams of olive oil, which contains at least 5 milligrams of hydroxytyrosol and its derivatives, that being alluropine and tyrosol, provides the expected beneficial effects of preventing low-density lipoprotein oxidation. Of course, they are referencing extra virgin and high-quality oils. These bioactive compounds don't just work on isolated systems. They affect nearly every major organ system in the body, from the heart to the brain, making them uniquely versatile. But how do these effects translate to real-world health outcomes? Well, there have been a string of cohort studies over the last few years suggesting that olive oil intake yielding a meaningful amount of some of these bioactive compounds we've discussed has some compelling effects on health and disease risk. One very notable study was published just last year in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The Mali Sani study is one of the largest studies to examine the health effects of olive oil consumption, tracking nearly 23,000 adults over 12 years. Its findings on cancer mortality are what stood out the most. Participants who consumed more than three tablespoons of olive oil daily, equating to 30 grams of olive oil at 10 grams a tablespoon, experienced a 28% reduction in cancer-related deaths compared to those who consumed less than 1.5 tablespoons or 15 grams daily. There was an 18% lower rate of all-cause mortality, a relationship that was largely driven by a substantially lower rate in cancer mortality that I just mentioned. This result stands out even after accounting for other factors like diet, lifestyle, and socioeconomic status, lower levels of blood pressure, and resting heart rate. 
associated with the consumption of olive oil accounted for 14.5 and 8.1 percent of its inverse relationship with all cause and cancer mortality, respectively, meaning that lower blood pressure and heart rate were two of the biggest explanations for lower all cause mortality and cancer risk found here. Now, importantly, the effects only stood out in non obese participants consuming olive oil, so that is worth noting. The study aligns with findings from a 2022 meta analysis reporting a 16% reduced risk of cardiovascular disease for every 25 gram increase in olive oil consumption and also an 11% reduced risk for all cause mortality at the 25 gram per day intake threshold. The findings are also in line with another 2022 meta analysis that included 45 studies finding a 31% lower risk of any cancer associated with high versus low olive oil intake. Systematic reviews of randomized control trials and not just cohort trials have confirmed the benefits of the active compounds of olive oil, that being alluropane and hydroxytyrosol for other health outcomes, studies consistently show that alluropane and hydroxytyrosol improve lipid profiles. They reduce LDL cholesterol while increasing HDL cholesterol. In addition, these compounds lower markers of inflammation like C-reactive protein, which are strongly linked to cardiovascular disease when elevated and then drawn out over time. So how can you apply these findings to your daily life? Well, one, choose extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil contains significantly higher levels of phenolic compounds compared to refined olive oil. Varieties with a robust, almost peppery flavor often indicates a higher phenolic content. As for the dose, according to EFSA, at least 20 grams of a high quality olive oil would be needed to yield enough hydroxytyrosol to reach its cardiovascular benefit claim. Aim for at least two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil per day. Use it as a salad dressing, drizzle it over cooked vegetables, or even pair it with whole grain bread. If you're looking for a more concentrated dose of alluropane or hydroxytyrosol, supplements derived from olive leaves or olive oil are available. Just be sure to choose a product that's standardized for these compounds. An olive fruit extract would be preferred for hydroxytyrosol, and an olive leaf extract would be preferred for alluropane, although you can still get high quality hydroxytyrosol from an olive leaf extract. In most cases, an olive fruit extract would come as an oil and an olive leaf extract would come as a powder but could be encapsulated. While the current evidence is promising, there's still much to learn about olive oil's bioactive compounds. For example, questions remain about the optimal dosing, duration, and combinations of alluropane, hydroxytyrosol, and other bioactives for specific health outcomes. What we do know is that olive oil is far more than just a healthy fat. It's a functional food with the potential to impact multiple facets of health and longevity. Whether you're looking to reduce your risk of chronic disease, support cognitive function, or enhance metabolic health, olive oil and the compounds within it are worth considering. If you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe and share daily value with someone who loves exploring the science behind nutrition. Until next time, stay healthy.